Hi Hawks! Today we are going to be making an artwork inspired by the artist Heather Galler. So you're going to need a white piece of paper, a black pen marker, <laughs> crayon, or I used a sharpie, whatever you're the most comfortable with, and some coloring supplies. Um, I'm going to show you how to do your paper this way, but I'm also going to show you how to turn it into a card. The card can be used as a wonderful Mother's Day gift, or you can use it um, for any other wonderful woman in your life. If you can't think of anyone like that, or you want to make more than one because they're so fun, you can also make one to mail to a nurse or doctor. And I have listed online some um, sites that you can write to them with. So let's get started. Heather Galler is a folk artist from New York. She is alive making art today. She makes landscapes and portraits but she also makes beautiful, colorful bouquets of flowers. You'll notice how they're sitting on tables. We're gonna be making our own today. Alrighty guys, so you're gonna to want to use a black marker, whether it's a Sharpie, a regular marker, or a black crayon. You're gonna want your white piece of paper. This time, instead of doing it horizontally, we are going to turn ours vertical. So it's going to go up and down so that we can do our Heather Galler flowers. So some of you may already have at home your handout. Um, you can look at that or just follow along. So in order to do this, I am going to start by drawing three or four circles above the middle of your paper. So I like to kind of find the middle Mine's about right here. So I want my circles to be above that space. One. So now that I have all three, I'm gonna transform those circles into flowers. If you have the handout sheet, you can go to the back and see some examples of designs you can do inside of your flower or create your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now that I have those flowers drawn and completed, I am going to fill the rest of the top half of mine with more flowers. This time they're gonna be going behind. So they are going, these ones will overlap on the new ones I am drawing. Think about where you're going to place them. So as I have one go behind, I would just stop as it reaches the other flower so that it can show that it is overlapping. And then I would continue adding. Um, for me, I'm gonna add two more. Now that I have my flowers completed, I'm going to add a vase on the bottom half. If you look at the handout sheet, there are different ways that you can try adding your vase. They come in different shapes and sizes. The main thing is it needs to be flat on the bottom, otherwise your vase will roll away. Now your vase can go all the way up to the flowers or it can sort of stop because you might have leaves, which is our next step um, that we're gonna add. Before I add my leaves, I'm gonna add the table. So I'm gonna draw a line through the middle of the vase, but I stop when I get to it. So it goes one way and then it finishes on the other side. Now, your handout can help you again as you draw some leaves to fill in some empty space. Mm -hmm. 
And there I have my leaves. The last step before we add color is you can add a pattern to your table and to your vase, or you can just do it to one of them. So any type of pattern you would like. Your handout sheet will show you a few different options, line and shape design. last thing you need to do is add color and you can use whatever you like to add color. You can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use paint, you can use a mixture of both. I'm going to show you a mixture of both. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my crayons to add some um, little detail designs in and then um, I'm going to go over it with some markers and some paint. I'm gonna show you how to fold your paper so that it can be a card. You can either fold your paper in half and you can draw on your card on the front, but sometimes it bleeds through. So if you don't want your marker or pen to bleed through, what I'm gonna do is I fold it the once and I'm going to turn it to the fold up top and I'm going to fold it Again, this time when I draw, it has two layers for me so it won't bleed through and then I can write inside my card just like that.